What's going on guys? So today we're going to do the second part of our How to Build a Baseball Field series. And today we're going to talk about the outfield. So the outfield is pretty simple. It's just a 90 degree angle that we're going to connect by a circle. Outfield walls are quite a bit different and vary ballpark to ballpark. So you really have to look and see how your the ballpark that you're wanting to make looks. Some ballparks look like this. This is Wrigley Field. We've done the ivy with the brick topping, and it's very irregular. So basically what you have to do is you have to look at some distance diagrams on Google Images. So how we do that is we'll just pull up Google, and we will go to Wrigley Field. We'll just type that into Google. and then we'll put dimensions. So Wrigley Field dimensions, we'll go to images and it'll show you how deep it is in each part of the ballpark. And you can use the 2D distance calculator that we used last time to determine how far each individual block is away. So you can build your curve like that by using several different spots like 400 there or you know 375 and you can put in your 2D distance calculator, figure out the distance between the blocks and kind of force a curve which is basically what I've done in the ballpark that we currently have. Uh, high school baseball fields and some college baseball fields have a curve like this that is more regular. So today we're going to do a regular curve for a high school baseball field. My high school baseball field was around 350 feet uh, all the way around. Um, that's deeper than a pro field in left and right, but way more shallow in the center because most pro fields are at about 400. So we'll click back over to our baseball field here and it, as it loads up. So the first thing that we have to accomplish is getting the lines in. So what we'll do is our home plate is at negative 15, negative 15. And we want to go a hunt or 350 feet. So if we pull up our calculator, we'll see that 350 feet works out to about 117 blocks uh, minus the 15. So essentially, we'll go to 102 uh, down the lines. So we start on negative 15, negative 15. We'll extend that line to 102 on both sides. So the next thing we'll do is the wall. We said we wanted it to be 350 feet all the way around, um, which is different than a major league ballpark. We're going to use blue as the wall color. Uh, you could use a number of colors. So what you want to do is set this, if you're building at 350 feet, set it right on top of 102. And then we'll go to mineconics.net. We will simply type in that we want a 117, because that equals 350, 117 radius circle start on 0, 0, 117 and that produces a really big circle so this side and this side are the two foul lines what we're doing is building the curve in between those foul lines as the wall so pretty much all I'm going to do is take this curve and put it into Minecraft Now, baseball field walls are normally about 13 feet high. They can be as little as 8 feet. This is highly ballpark dependent, so you'll have to figure out exactly uh, how tall the wall is at the park that you're trying to build or how big you want your wall to be at the field that you're making up. Uh, I'm going to do 3 high on each side just to save a little bit of time, so I'll go ahead and build this wall up, and then we'll put the warning track in. So with the wall put in, now it's time to put the warning track in. Most warning tracks are about six or seven blocks wide. 
I'm going to make this one six blocks wide. So what I've got to do is basically put in six blocks or put in a six wide circle all the way around. And as you can see, that th we're going to do this one on 111. 117 minus the six I just counted out. So all we do is pull back up mine conics, change that to 111, and then it will we'll just put that circle just like we did before from foul pole or from foul line to foul line into Minecraft in dirt this time. And of course now I'll simply fill that outline with dirt. Now I've filled the remaining areas that are ungrassed with grass, and then we'll worry about making the grass look pretty. So now we pretty much have a baseball field. Next time we will do the uh, we'll do the frame that goes around the stadium like this, the wall, and then the warning track will extend around with it inside of it to look all pretty. The last thing we're going to do in this video is the striping of the grass. And like I said, with the infield stuff, you, this is pretty much up to your imagination. Uh, I'm going to take some creative liberties and just try to make something that looks cool. But you can research with, you know how the ballpark that you're building normally stripes the field or however you just want to stripe the field if you just want to get creative like I'm going to and try to make something that looks pretty cool. So the last thing we have to do is build the foul poles. The foul poles are pretty much dependent upon the stadium, but we like to make them 90 feet high or 30 blocks. So we just simply go to the wall behind the foul line and go to build up to Y30. So that's it for this time guys. We've pretty much got the field built. We will build the outside and the outside warning track on the next episode and we'll pretty much be done with how to build a baseball field. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll tune in next time.